The idea that electrons are rapidly and constantly moving around the nucleus is simply a mental construct of Rutherford and Bohr. In fact, in lowest energy levels, the electrons in an atom are almost in a state of complete rest. Our understanding of the universe is very limited. This is why phenomena like UFOs still remain unexplainable with our present day science and technology. UFOs are real and even defense organizations like Pentagon also started to publicly accept its authenticity. Our current knowledge about what is matter, what is energy, what is space and time etc. are incomplete or far from the truth. To explore the universe and how it works, we need to make a radical change in how we observe it. Here we will discuss the historical development of today's atomic theory and what's wrong with this theory. The cathode ray experiment has helped J.J. Thompson for the discovery of the electron and he proposed the plum pudding model of the atom. He conceptualized an atom as the negatively charged electrons. The plums are arranged in a positively charged pudding. However, the Rutherford's gold foil experiment has proved that most of the mass of an atom is concentrated in a very small positively charged region in the center of the atom called nucleus. He proposed the nuclear model of the atom to explain atom's volume and stability and also to explain how an atom produces its spectral lines. Niels Bohr proposed the planetary model or the Rutherford Bohr model of the atom. He proposed that the electrons in an atom are rapidly moving around the nucleus in different energy levels or orbitals. Bohr used this idea to explain how an atom emits and absorbs photons. De Broglie proposed his matter wave hypothesis with the assumption that electrons are moving around the nucleus as proposed by Bohr. Two experimental physicists, Davison and Germa, conducted experiments with electron beams. They have collided electrons on a nickel crystal target and observed the diffracted electrons behavior and found that moving electrons exhibit wave-like behavior as suggested by D. Broglie. Finally, by incorporating Neil Bohr's idea of the rapid motion of the electrons around the nucleus and D. Broglie's matter wave hypothesis, Irvin Schrodinger developed the currently accepted wave mechanical or atomic orbital model of the atom. According to this model, electrons in an atom exist around the nucleus as standing matter waves or electron clouds in different energy levels or orbitals. However, even though Rutherford's gold foil experiment has proved that the positively charged nucleus is situated in the center of the atom, this experiment did not provide any information about the state of the electrons in the atom. In fact, the idea of the constant motion of the electron around the nucleus is only a mental construct of Rutherford and Bohr, and there is no evidence for this kind of motion for electrons. Additionally, Davison and Germa have performed matter wave experiments with artificially created electron beams. Therefore, this experiment does not have any significance to the structure of the atom in the real world. Atoms in the universe are exposed to one or more of the following energy backgrounds – conduction, convection and radiation. Hence, the electrons in the atoms are influenced by one or more of these backgrounds. By simply observing the radiations emitted by an atom, we can understand how much the electrons in that atom are excited or in motion within it. On the other hand, if an atom has a zero radiation from it, we can understand that the electrons in that atom almost are in a state of complete rest. Also watch structure of the atom. This is Femila Joseph and thank you for watching.